Hey guys, Shock here from Shock e Check it. In today's video, we have a brand new update for all Samsung Galaxy smartphones for the Samsung Notes application, which makes it even better and adds additional features. So let's dive in and get started. Now, first and foremost, to get the latest update, what you want to do is you want to click the link down below. It's going to take you to my website. Once you're at the website, you want to scroll down just a little bit. Under download, you want to click this link right here. When you click the link, it'll take you to the Galaxy Store from where you'll see the little update button at the bottom. Just click that and you are going to be good to go with the latest version. Now let's inspect every single feature one by one. So I'm going to launch the Samsung Notes application. Let me grab that right away. Samsung Notes. And the very first thing that I want to talk about is the brand new layout styles. So if you have a bunch of notes, you now have a bunch of additional layout styles. Uh, if you click on view, in the past you only had three options. You had the simple list, list, and a basic grid. Now you, we have a small grid as this one. We have a medium grid as this one. And we also have a large grid. So that's going to give you two notes side by side. I think this looks the best. And the other thing that I'm going to show you guys, if I go into one of my notes, okay, and by the way, again, you don't need an S Pen to benefit from these updates, okay? I'm just using it because I have it with the note. So I'm going to tap on this edit icon. And now we have two additions to our pens. So when you go to the regular ballpoint pen, we now have two options. This was an existing option. That's just a size, okay? But now we have this. We have the regular ballpoint pen pressure. And here we have an adjustable pressure. So basically when you choose this and as you're writing on the screen, the harder you press, the darker it becomes. Okay, so if you press light, you can see it's thinner. If you press harder, it becomes thicker. So it is now going to be pressure sensitive ballpoint pen. The other thing that we have is if I tap on this guy right over here, okay, now when I go to pencil, I also have a brand new option. Now this allows me to adjust the darkness of the pencil. So this is just the size as usual. Let's just do 75 here. I'm going to do 1% and look at what it does. Very light, barely visible. Now I'm going to do 58%. Okay, looks like a regular pencil. Now I'm going to do 100%. So I got the darkest possible pencil. Uh, when I do that. So those are two new options with the actual pen and pencil tool. Now the next thing has to do with this toolbar here. You can move that toolbar anywhere that you want. You can do it with the pen or with your finger. So basically all you do is press and hold on that keyboard icon. It detaches and you can put it anywhere on the screen that is convenient for you. Not just the top and bottom anymore. Now it can go anywhere that you want. All right. Now one more thing you're going to notice is my navigation bar at the bottom has disappeared, giving me more space and immersion. So you can enable that feature with the latest update. Go to the settings right over here. At the bottom, you're going to see hide navigation bar in handwriting mode. So when I'm in handwriting mode, this navigation bar disappears as soon as I click on edit and go into the handwriting mode. Not the keyboard mode, but this one right here. See, that thing just disappeared. Another fantastic addition. And of course, another cool thing that we have is with the brand new notes. So normally when you click a note, it just creates a brand new note. Now, if you go to your settings, right over here, you can go to page style and template. And you can see we can actually choose this new layout option that I'm loving. You can have a normal size paper or you can have a long paper. That's just one page you write on. But the big thing for me is the scroll direction. So I can scroll vertically on the note or horizontally. So if I have it this way, let me go back out. I'm going to tap on new note. So let me just write something here. Okay, let's just write something. There we go. Now let's say I want to go to the next page. I will scroll this way, okay? And that's going to add a brand new page instead of... Instead of uh, scrolling vertically, you can now do horizontal. So back and forth horizontally. Okay, so those are the brand new options on the Samsung Notes applications. Really nice little features to have 
And like I said, just click the link down below to get the latest update and you are going to be good to go. Should be working on all Samsung phones, S Pen or no S Pen. All right, guys, for now, have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.